remember, there be more than one way to live the pirate's life. Ahoy mates, welcome back to Pirate's Life. I know it's been a long time since I've been on here, but I'm so excited to be back. Now this is a video I said I would do for a while, and as you may know me, I take a while to get things done with... Get away. I take a while to get things done for my channel, and this has given me some anxiety overall because like recording longer videos and recording my screen, and I just want to make sure everything turns out right, and gameplay tends to take longer, and overall I'm just weird, as you may know. So I was really excited when they announced the Pirates Sea of Thieves expansion back in June. I filmed the video that same week talking about it, and I never finished editing it. I'll probably finish editing it and upload it at some point, even though it's going to kind of be outdated, but I'm really excited to start the gameplay for Sea of Thieves. So just to be honest, I've never played Sea of Thieves before uh, until a few weeks ago. I started to play just the standard game just to get a feel for what the controls are and how the world works and things like that, so... And at the same time, I did start the Pirates campaign a little bit. I'm not sure what point it saved it at, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be starting over from the beginning or what point we'll be starting at, so that's just a warning. And at some point I might take this off because it is hot here and I might sweat, so... Without further ado, let's start playing Sea of Thieves, A Pirate's Life, the Pirates of the Caribbean expansion by Disney. So while this is loading, I know I still need to play Pirates Online more and play Tides of War more. I've done like one or two videos for those games, but this is really exciting, so let's begin. Right off the bat, I love the Pirates decorations, the Dead Man's Chest, Tia Dalma's Locket, and David Jones's Locket. Um, there's a... well, it's going away, but... Aztec Gold, there's the Jolly Roger there. The thing I love about this game is that just by playing it so far, like getting a crew and a ship, it just is so much fun to be a pirate in the game. Um... Even not playing the Pirates of the Caribbean parts, just, like, steering a ship and going to different merchants and things. It just It's just fun to be immersed in the world of, into the world of piracy and, I know it probably sounds wrong, but. Great music. Let me know in the comments, do you want to see me with my laptop, or do you want to see me... Because I'll be in the corner. Enlisting Pirate. Okay, so I had seen a preview of the Pirate Emporium, where you can get, like, Davy Jones outfits. That's really cool, but we're not going to do that right now. I'd already created a pirate, as you can see on the left. He's kind of a beefy, bigger guy with great hair. Anyways, let's go to what's new. So let's just do Live a Pirate's Life. And already I love the Jack picture there. They did such a great job capturing Johnny's likeness in the art. Ugh, I love that. So it says... Meet Captain Jack Sparrow as worlds collide. The ultimate pirate crossover brings Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean sailing into Sea of Thieves. Okay, so play. Here we go. A pirate's life. Play an epic pirate adventure. Join forces with Captain Jack Sparrow in a thrilling story campaign. So this is the part where I'm kind of confused as to what to choose. Um, see, I, oh, I chose a brigantine, but... Yep, 
Yeah, Galloween is a huge ship. Brigantine or yeah, Brigantine is a crew of size two to three. Sloop is one to two. So before I started out with a Galloween, which I think may have been too much, and it was just me steering it. So I might start out with a sloop. Confirm and assemble a crew. Okay. Opening crew ledger. So as you can see, my name is John Carter fan. It's my Microsoft handle. I created it around the time John Carter came out. If you don't know what that is, it's that poster back there. Um, it's a Disney movie. So. Mode of Pirate's Life, ship, sloop, crew, closed. Microphone ready, which you can talk to other people on this. And let's set sail. See if the use of Pirate's Life is here. Visit the castaways camp on any outpost and examine her journals to begin these new tall tales. And I won't say a spoiler about her, but I know who she is. Here's Jack. Strange awakenings bring new threats to the seas. Beware of roaming fa- Oh, it went away. Strange awakenings bring new threats to the seas. Beware of roaming phantoms, vicious sirens, and other lurking dangers. And that's Davy Jones's organ area. Okay. So, yeah, by this point, I already have a gun. I already have some weapons and things. So I just have to vote on a quest in the little area here. Um, and then I think I talked to the castaway. But this is the first level tall tale. So I just do F. Maybe. Nice. I mean, Pirates fans can pretty much tell who she is, I think. The music. I love it. Already a change this world to its liking. And if what it wants can't be found, it will take it. Want to know? The one who brought this world life in iron below the ferryman nobody but its captain betrayed the lord of the galash that means to learn the truth with your own eyes you'll have to stroll away i'm but fine with that ferryman can catch you your destiny not in there stay smith then he's in close all you have Which your heart still beating, you will see those cursed shores with new eyes when you raise up the flame of souls. All our window is showing the way. Okay, so I saw this part before, it's really cool. So there's a hidden Mickey on her foot. The thing I love about this, it's like it's it's just immersive and I want to be there. I 
travel to another world. And now you will do the same. Hear okay. these words for the journey. If the read is not, then whisper what has been and what is yet to be. Okay. Whispers to help you save a pirate's life. Now make sail. The door is open. The prisoner is waiting. And our time is trickling our way. Okay, so. Just right off the bat, there's some cool visuals that, nice, Telltale received. The storm clouds, that skeleton in the sky. So we'll come back to her at some point, I believe. So here's my sloop. So, jump. Oh, not mean to do that. So, to climb on board, you have to do F. Okay. And the quest log. Um. So I did this before when I had the galleon, which was, again, huge. Um, we have to sail into the portal that the castaway opened. So if I remember correctly, I have to lower the sails. Or, right, um, or I have to turn the sails in the direction of where we want to go. So... that unfurls the sails and then over here set the sail length um so you can furl them up again let me go to the other one okay so i want to go in that direction i think that's what we're supposed to do Again, I might not have been the best pirate in real life, but there's, there'd be more than one way to live the pirate's life, right, mates? So let's raise the anchor. So you press F and then you press the up key. Again, this is on my laptop, so... And we're sailing, and so I gotta hold the wheel... I admit, when I first started playing around with the game, I sailed the galleon and I got it stuck in some rocks. I left the game and I came back and I was already on the next like level, so I'm not sure what happened. Um, it can be hard to steer a pirate ship on a game. I can only imagine how it is in real life. I mean, it's kind of like steering a car... And I'm an okay driver, I think. Last time I did, last time I did this, it was a nighttime. It wasn't as easy to see things, and ah, uh, ah, uh, come on, come on, get a last loop, come on. Uh, turn. Almost there. Here we go. Okay. So it looks like we're in... Well, here's a ghost parrot, apparently. It's just like the ride. 
if you've never been on the ride in Anaheim at the entrance when you go into the queue. Like like sounds exactly like that that parrot. That's awesome. But I don't really know where I'm going now. Um Parrot's gone. And it looks like there's dead people in boats, like in that world's end. I'll try not to run them over with the ship. Oh, there's a lighthouse. Renzo White Cat Bay, kinda. Okay, so the dead have disappeared. That's from the right. This is awesome. Ghost Pirates. Is it the Flying Dutchman? Okay. I thought I'd be calling off the ship or something. Sailing the seas with all players. Strange shores. Heck, going like super fast. Um. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Uh, uh, what am I hitting? Am I going the wrong direction or? I'm gonna turn around. I'm confused. I didn't mean to. 
I don't know if I'm supposed to go here. Okay, I am thoroughly confused. Um, I guess I need to turn around. Uh, dang it. Good job. No map. I'm sinking. I know from before I had to grab a bucket and scoop the water out. Uh, oh yeah. Um, I think that my, oh yeah, I think it's open. Oh yeah. I'm not the best captain. Just ignore that.
What am I doing? I'm just straightening the sail. I'm in the water. Good job. Did not plan on doing that. And is it sunk? My sloop sunk. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully this time I don't sink the sloop. Okay. So... I lower the anchor. Because last time, if you recall, I just ran straight into those rocks. So I do not want to do that. But I'm guessing we're supposed to go to the left or navigate through the fog. Try that. I hope this is the right way. I'm going really fast. No. What? What? What am I missing here? I don't see what it would be. Okay. What is going on? I wish there was like
I just wish there was a like a guide. I don't know if I'm supposed to go here or something tells me I'm supposed to go to the left or something, but then my ship keeps getting turned around or I'm going to crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Uh, come on. I'm doing it fast. Really? Shiver me, souls. I'm going to go this straight southwesty direction. I don't just want to be stuck on this for time and all eternity and never do another video. What is going on? I'm cheating. So I'm supposed to Okay, let's try something different. Seriously. Well, I'm going to try to swim to the island, apparently. So that's where we came from, and I need to be over here somewhere. I sunk my sloop twice. I hope a shark doesn't come and eat me or something.
Am I not even swimming? Hmm. I think I'm getting closer. It's just, there's a reason you're supposed to have a ship because ships take faster and I went in the water once at the engine or the beginning um, a few weeks ago and a shark ate me, but another player came and shot at the shark or something. Um, I just hope a shark does not come here. Almost there. There's whale bones that reminds me of Pirates 5. I'm on an island, almost. Yes. I hope I'm not the only one who's ever sunk a ship or a sloop in this game. Or this level, or whatever. Yay! I'm on an island. And it's creepy and dark. A skeleton? Or... Do a fast run. It's the thing about me video games. I always tend to go to the place that you're not supposed to go to. Or the furthest end of somewhere you're not supposed to go to. Um, somewhere? We're getting somewhere. There's someone there. Or a statue or a ghost. I don't want to do that. I don't have a ship. I don't know if I'm supposed to go in here, but reminds me of the ride.
Okay, and I don't understand. Go back out. I almost want to get a controller because the mouse touchpad and the keys just to maneuver are kind of cumbersome. Don't know where I'm going, but uh... jump. If I'm supposed to go back on my ship after getting the flame, I'm dead. <laughs> Unless it takes me to a new ship, but let's try. Nope. Feel really bad at video games right now. I'm more of the game player type where 
you follow a path or an arrow to go somewhere. Not that ex not that exploration is is bad or anything, but um, Let's see if I can try to open that door. Such a video game thing. Uh, creepy. Again, that's from the ride. Music is from the right too. That's from the right too. I know I'm broken record. <sighs> My heart's melting as a Pirates Ride fan. I could listen to that music for hours, to be honest. <laughs> this music needs to be played in a future film. Just saying. Like, verbatim or rescored. This is just so mystical, and it takes takes me back to the ride, and now the ride this and the ride that, but. What was the point? You're cool. So I lift him up. Hmm. What am I supposed to do?
some wasmates. Maybe the door opened. Yay. It's a skeletal helmsman. That preview I showed you last week. There you go. All the atmosphere and music from the right is just spot on. Let me see if there's anything I need to get in here. I'm sorry, the controls are kind of, to me, they're kind of janky. Uh, well, let's keep going. Oh, I wish it was a Disneyland right now. Where to find a handle? Looks like a handle.
Sea of Thieves, Pirate's Life, Where to Find the Handle. So I wasn't talking for a lot of that. Um, I had to open a third barrier. Um, I'm going to stop playing for now. I think if I have to redo this over, I'm going to scream. Um, it's just because there's no like checkpoints or save points. So if I have to go through and steer the ship again, and we'll see, mates. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like this kind of gameplay? I know it was kind of all over the place with me sinking the sloops and stuff, so I really love the gameplay, I love the pirates aspects so far, even though I haven't even got to The sea awaits your return, and so does Davy Jones. 
when next you sail, you'll sail with Davy Jones, and none shall escape. Ha <laughs> ha!